Welcome to the Strategic Mind tutorial. In this operation, you will learn how to deploy and move your troops, attack the enemy, and be victorious. Units under your command are listed in the Units panel at the bottom of the screen. To the left, you can find the mini-map, which will help you to quickly get your bearings in battle. All objects are marked with the corresponding color. Your units are green, allied units are blue, and in, in the Units panel at the bottom of the screen, you can see the unit that is currently selected, the tank. Open its unit info screen by clicking on the highlighted button. The unit info screen contains all the key data about the selected unit. Under the unit picture, you can see its strength, both the unit's health and the unit's combat parameters. Are With the mouse over the combat parameter, now click on the highlighted parameter. This is more detailed information on how this parameter works. Now close the tab. Right under the combat parameters, you can see the unit's equipment panel. An additional equipment that you're underneath it, you can see the skills panel. There are a number of pa the unit's class is indicated right above its picture. There you can see its model name as well. Now close the unit info screen. It is high time for troops deployment. Every look at the highlighted hex. Now deploy the rest of your troops. Great. Now your army is ready to do battle. In the top left corner of the screen, you can see a list of your primary. Above, you can also see a victory progress bar. This at the top right corner of the screen, you can find the command points button. Command points are used for troop to the left, you can find the prestige button. Prestige is a resource you use to acquire. Select the tank by clicking on it. To the right in the unit actions panel, you can see the embarkation. The hexes where your unit can move to are highlighted. Now move your tank to the designated hex by clicking on it with the right mouse button. Usually, units can move and attack only once per turn. However, there are a number of exceptions to this rule, which will be presented at the later stages of select the infantry unit. As you can see, the infantry has fewer movement points than the tanks. To solve this problem, infantry can be equipped with a truck. Select the artillery unit and move it to the designated hex. Your troops have moved to an advantageous position and are ready to storm the city on your next turn. Now, all of your units have finished their turn. Click Ahead is the city occupied by the enemy troops. Onward. Move your infantry to the designated hex to identify the enemy forces. Select the artillery to make a preliminary bombardment of the enemy positions. Select the infantry unit again and attack the enemy in close combat. Select the tank and finish off the enemy unit. Time your troops occupy the victory hex. It is marked with a golden color. Congratulations! You have successfully finished the operation. Now you have the victory screen in front of you. It presents a detailed break. In the leftmost column, you can see the information on your victory points and second. The central column has information about prestige. The rightmost columns have your army statistics. You may have noticed that your reason. So, you are back in action. Select the artillery and attack the enemy. Proceed in a similar manner with your infantry and tank. All enemy units are defeated. Capture the hex where the enemy headquarters are located to complete the secondary objective. Brilliant. Click on the victory progress bar, and as you can see, you got the best result possible. Haunted by the aftermath of the Treaty of Versailles, economic and military collapse, poverty and disillusionment, the German people were looking for hope. This hope was given to them by the new government, which set out to restore Germany to its former glory and beyond, no matter what the cost. Soviet Russia is making futile attempts to establish the Bolsheviks regime in Spain. The German government supports the brave volunteers who gallantly resist the puppet government of the Spanish Republicans. Following the call of their valiant hearts, many Germans volunteered to fight alongside the Spanish rebels. General Halder, I came upon your orders, sir. Alder, as you know, our new divisions formed with volunteers are about to be sent to Spain. Germany needs an experienced commander who would lead them to victory. I believe any officer should be gallant and put Germany above all else. Well, maybe someone comes to mind? 
this assignment will certainly open new career prospects. I'm convinced the officer's honor should always be the main motive, not the career ladder. That is exactly what I have been looking for. Halder, I like your approach. I know you're a very talented and gallant officer. If you had asked me, I would have sent you personally to put things in order there. Yet I cannot order you in this case. Herr Goering, please allow me to lead our forces. I will depart for Spain immediately. The German government is highly grateful to you for this act of bravery. The civil war in Spain has been quite advantageous for us. We've spread our influence to a European state of major... The Republican government is on its last leg. The Republican government is holed up in Barcelona. Forces are comprised of both core and non-core units. Core unit's strength indicator is green and round shaped, and for non-core units it is yellow and hexagon shaped. Non-core units are allocated for one mission only, while the core units will accompany you throughout the campaign. You will be able to level them up and provide them with new equipment. These units are the ones which should be under your primary protection. We'll take the point. Affirmative. Ammunition and fuel icons next to unit strength will allow you to quickly get important information about it. If the unit is still able to move during the current turn, the canister icon will be green. If it can no longer move, the icon will be gray. Likewise, the ammunition icon shows whether the unit has attacked this turn. If the unit is low on ammunition or fuel, the corresponding icon is yellow. It becomes red once the unit has run out of it completely. What is it? Acknowledged. Move into a position. Can you see anything? Tanks are ideal for a rapid offensive and open terrain, however they are vulnerable in close quarters to the infantry units in difficult terrain, such as cities, mountains, forests, swamps, shallows, and well-entrenched infantry units. We will lead the way, squads on the move. Artillery is the basis of the firepower of your forces. It can weaken enemy fortifications to allow your troops to attack without heavy losses. It is also good for defense, as it provides fire support to the ground units within its range. However, its main strength is its long firing range, which allows you to destroy the enemy troops from afar. Remember though, artillery is vulnerable to aircraft attacks and in close combat, so it needs to be protected. Armored troops at your disposal. We will be there before you notice. Your unit has been withdrawn from a supply zone. The delivery of supplies to the unit has been stopped. The supply zone is marked with a white box symbol in the upper corner of each hexagon while the unit is selected. Squads on the move. Engines about to die! Engine's about to die! Infantry is good for assaulting the enemy positions after the artillery and air bombardment. It is also the best unit for storming cities, mountains, forests, and well-entrenched positions. In Gadarian, we trust.
reconnaissance is extremely important in an offensive since it provides you with full intelligence information regarding the presence of enemy forces, thus making your attack more effective. A reconnaissance unit can move several times per turn, as long as it has move points left. Once the reconnaissance unit notices the enemy, it automatically stops and they can move again. If an enemy surrenders to your reconnaissance unit, it gains full information about all the enemy units nearby. We'll take the point. We've discovered the enemy. Watch your step. Fuel tanks are almost empty. If the unit is within the supply zone, fuel will be resupplied at the end of turn. Damage is indicated with the numbers above the unit being attacked. For ground and aircraft units, there are two types of damage, lethal and non-lethal. Both lethal and non-lethal damage decrease the unit's strength. However, non-lethal damage at the same time increases the number of units damage, which can later be restored. Naval units always receive only lethal damage, however they have multiple ship parts with their corresponding HP, thus damage against them is split. Ship parts except the hull are repaired over time by ship maintenance. Hull HP cannot be restored in any way during the operation. Engine's about to die! Give them everything we've got! Running on reserve fuel. This unit has heavy equipment. Units with heavy equipment cannot move if they do not have ground transport. Additionally, they cannot board air transport. Almost gone. Clean, I like it. Can you see anything? Outmaneuver this! Be careful when this unit is on the verge of defeat. Send the unit to the service zone where it can be reinforced. The service zone is a one hex range around an infrastructure. Shells! Running on reserve fuel. All city. We have taken Tarragona, Field Marshal Goering. Good, good. The Republican government must be panicking, and rightly so. I am sending you our newest Panzer IV tanks to assist in the assault on Barcelona. Make sure they see enough action that this counts as a conclusive field test. I will expect your report after the battle. Time to allocate ammo for priority targets. Holding the key location. You have selected an entrench unit. When a ground unit finishes its turn while still being able to move, it gains one level of entrenchment. The unit can have up to six levels of entrenchment. Each level of entrenchment increases all defenses by one. The unit loses all levels of entrenchment when it moves. Naval and aircraft units cannot gain entrenchment. Each attack against an entrenched unit reduces the entrenchment level by one. Our tanks are not heavy, but fast. With speed and precision. Beware the fire support of the enemy artillery if you attack enemy troops with an artillery unit nearby. Speed is our forte. We will lead the way. There, see it? The enemy. We've got big guns and we're not afraid to use them! Always ready! 
Time to move on. Panzer Corps at the ready. Can you see anything? Ready to depart. Speed is our forte. An anti-tank unit has overwatched your troops. When your unit enters gun range of an enemy with active overwatch ability, it is automatically attacked. You can disable the enemy overwatch by attacking it. It is better to do a reconnaissance before sending in your armored forces. We'll move quietly. Target acquired. Can we start blasting already? Confirmed. Moving out. Always ready. Open fire. Ready to roll. With divine assistance. Ready to roll. Scatter them. Enemy positions have the fire support of anti-tank guns. They are shooting at your tanks. Outmaneuver this! We shape their destiny. If anyone asks, this unit does not exist. Give us the coordinates and watch the fireworks. Reporting as ordered, sir. We are the last ones standing. Our fatherland grows. We have captured Barcelona, but the Spanish government seems to have escaped before the assault. They should get used to fleeing their own capital. Hopefully they won't be so audacious as to start unpacking so soon. I'm sending several Luftwaffe units into your command. The people of Germany have invested a lot of time and effort into forming these units. Now it is time we evaluate the result. Let me know how well they perform in real combat. A few months ago, the Republicans took the city of Terol. That's our gateway to Valencia, and their government must be hiding there. So, it is about time Terol fell back into our hands. Tactical bombers are flying artillery and a great tool. We will save the world from chaos. We will rule the day. Blast those bastards! Time to stop. It's not very comfortable here. It is under our control. Ready to depart. It is under our control. 